Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> it's Saturday, day three of a snow emergency. Um, thinking about the holidays, because it's that time of year. It's like between Hanukkah, Christmas, and Kwanzaa. There's a lot going on during the month of December. And seeing how all these dietary changes and everything have been happening for me, and I don't know what's happening for other people, um, but with having CKD, I've had to change what I eat and the way I prepare my foods. And um, one of the things that I've had to learn to do is make some substitutions from things that I usually would eat to other things that, for me, are enjoyable. You know, some people just say, well, I'm stuck eating whatever. But I can't do that. That's just, it doesn't work for me like that. So I've made some changes in what I eat. But, you know, holiday time, I always want me a treat. Just like at my birthday, I want a treat. But now I've had to learn how to eat treats that were good for me. So if you have CKD or if you're diabetic, if you have some kind of renal program that you're on, if you're going keto or whatever you're doing, here's something that works. Well, a plant-based something that works. So maybe not everybody's crazy about it, but for me, it works, tastes good, and I've been losing weight in a good, positive, healthy way. My blood pressure has gone down in an awesome way that's just been really super amazing to see happening, and I'm full of more energy, and everything's going really positive. So if it don't work for you, then don't it don't have to apply for you. But there's a lot of people out there that this might really help. And so I'm just sharing what my experience has been. Now, this is legal and medical advice, so you already know that. I say that all the time, yada, yada, you already know. Check with your doctor before you make any major changes. And if it's something you know you're allergic to, use common sense and don't ingest something that you're allergic to. But check this out. Stop by the store today because I really, you know, like I said... I want me something good to eat, especially around the holidays. Shoot, come on. Now, you know I tried that tofuti, those little ice cream type sandwiches. They were good. They were so good, me and my grandkids loved them. You know, they tried it out and they were like, uh, Grandma, do you have some more of those? No, I'm not sharing any more of those with you right now, but I'm trying some other stuff. But it's nice to know that I have something that's good and healthy and that we could all eat together. This time, I got a couple of different things. My mochi, which is a vegan oat milk frozen dessert. So like people that are lactose intolerant, they could do this too. Oh yeah, isn't that awesome? So this is a strawberry flavored one. Then they had one that was chocolate and some other flavors. And they look like little balls of goodiness which I've seen stuff like this before in dairy-based products. So then that way you're just having a little bit, you just want a little taste of something. So this is non-dairy deliciousness, so they say. So I'm going to give this a try. You know, as far as protein, it's very low protein. Zero grams of protein per piece. Two grams of protein for this entire package. 1.25 ounce package. So, yeah. This, I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to this next one because I was one of those people that like to go to the corner store or wherever, get the ice cream sandwiches. I was one of those people that when I was growing up and I'd hear that bell dinging outside, I knew the ice cream truck was going by and I'd grab my change, run out the door because I wanted my ice cream. Whether it be ice cream on a stick, ice cream cone, ice cream sandwich, popsicle. I was that kid growing up. Check this out. It's called Favorite Day. It's a non-dairy, peanut butter flavored, oat-based frozen des dessert bar. It looks, check that out, it looks yummy. It does. Doesn't it look good? So, I'm excited about this one. 
Again, it's low in protein. It's very low sodium, low carbs. You know, there are four servings in this package. You know. And it's peanut flavored. So it may have, it does have some peanut butter and peanuts and salt. So for anyone with a nut allergy, you might want to be careful on this one. But they had some other flavors too, like chocolate and all that. But I saw that and I was like, oh, I'm having that today. I'm trying that today. Here's something else. I love going to the state fair. And one of the things I always look for at the state fair, and there's something that I also look for at certain restaurants that sell this type of a product, mozzarella sticks. So I got, bam, holy veggie, mozzarella style sticks. So it's vegan, it's gluten free, it's soy free, and it's non-GMO. I know a lot of people are really worried about the soy and all of that. There's no soy. There's no wheat gluten in there. It's a California, a California, cauliflower uh, crumb um, made into mozzarella style sticks with a marinara sauce. Yummy. That'll be a nice evening treat while like watching a movie or whatever. And yes, it's plant-based. It's not from the Moo Moo. This is from the plant. <clears throat> what else did I get, you say? Of course, I had to get some more of these plant-based cheeses that really work. Because not all plant-based cheeses work well for me. Some of them don't melt. Which I have a problem with cheese that doesn't melt. Because it's just not as fun. <laughs> You know, but these, from, they're called Daya, they melt. And this one is like ched, cheddar, and this is like mozzarella. The shreds really work, so I use them like if I'm making a vegan chili. And if you need to make your chili and put some meat in it, go and put some meat in it. There's times when I'll make some chili, and I'll use the vegan uh, crumbles, or the Morningstar Farms, or Boca vegetable crumbles. It's... Delicious. If it's not for you, throw your meat on in there. You know, do it the way you do it, but I'm telling you how I'm doing it because I end up doing it both ways so that not only am I satisfied, but I'm able to serve others as well. Even though my grandkids seem to enjoy <laughs> this food too, which makes it a little easy for me. I got a couple more things. And these last two things, of course, just like the cheese, are a blast from the past. Organic vegan dumplings. Yum. Talk about delicious. I had bought those other ones, and I had planned on doing that video with the other ones. But I ended up getting sick around that time. I had an allergic reaction from something that I had. And I kind of narrowed it down to what it is. It wasn't this. But because my face was swollen up like a basketball at that point, I really didn't want to do a video of preparing this yumminess. This is really, really tasty. It's organic and it's vegan. It's from a company called Nasoya. So yes, more than likely there may be some soy in the back. Let's see. It's got organic white wheat flour. Uh, super firm tofu, so it does have some wheat in it. And that has um, the tofu is made from soybeans, obviously. So there mm -hmm. you go. And it has a little bit of potato starch. Um, so this is higher in the sodium. So it's not as beneficial for you that way. Um, but the potassium is low and the other things are low. So this is one of those treats when I just want to do a treat and I'm not going to be ha hanging heavy on this all the time. So it's got it's good and it's got some things that for my body are not the best. 
another blast from the past. Guardian. Plant-based Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken. And I tell you, this stuff is good. It's really tasty. It's making my mouth water right now. But it's really tasty, really delicious. Um, again, I'd have to, there are two servings in this package. So I have to control myself and not be eating both servings because I don't need two servings worth, worth of sodium because that would take up half my sodium for the day. Um, carb wise, it's a little better. I have to watch the protein and the calcium and, and other things. The potassium is good. It's excellent. Zero potassium. Um, which for me, I have to watch like potassium and and phosphorus, things like that. So, true yumminess that can be cooked in the oven or on the stove. I did it on the stove last time. I just, I actually prepared it in my wok last time. And the dumplings, Yes, that's a walk thing, just like making pot stickers. But I used to make pot stickers from scratch, and since I'm not doing that from scratch until I can find all the proper ingredients, I'm working through this process. So be patient with me. But I just wanted to show you these things real quick to give you some ideas of some options that you can have for eating plant-based. If you're interested in plant-based eating, if you're interested in vegan eating or you're interested in just making some healthy changes for yourself, anything that's not an allergen for you, you can give it a try. Prices were decent for all of this stuff. Um, if they weren't, you know, you'd hear me talking about the price. Oh my goodness. But this... Mandarin chicken is, you know, not only vegan, it's also kosher, which is pretty cool. And there are no dairy ingredients in it, and since my kidneys are saying no to, to the real dairy right now, this is a good thing for me. In fact, all of these things that I just showed you were good things for me. But I hope you're trying something new and different and exciting for yourself this holiday season. And even if you're not celebrating the holiday Treat yourself good. Don't cheat yourself. Have something that you can enjoy. Something that's healthy and good for you um, so that you can feel satisfied and not like you're missing out on anything because you can do this journey by eating good and still eating good. So not eating not only good to your taste, but so that it's enjoyable. I hope you have a great day and you take care and I look forward to talking.